A man with cerebral palsy says he was beaten and robbed yesterday on the platform of a DART light rail station. Now there are surveillance cameras all along the platform, but DART officials have not released the video or much information about the suspect and their efforts to find him. Fox 4's James Rose is at DART headquarters in downtown with more on what the agency is saying. James. Well, Heather, the agency is saying the incident did happen and it is investigating, but at this point has nothing more to offer. This morning I spoke with the victim who says he thankfully wasn't more seriously injured, saying he's just nursing his, his bruises that he has as a result of that beating. And he says while he does forgive the attacker, he wants that suspect caught. I want it to be safe. I want people to feel that they can get where they're going and feel safe. This man who doesn't want his name used says he was attacked and robbed Wednesday afternoon on the platform of the Dart Walnut Hill Denton station. The victim who has cerebral palsy says it happened after he refused to let the attacker use his e-cigarette. And next thing I know, uh, I get punched in the face probably as we counted now five or six times at this point I'm on. Uh, the ground and he tried to kick me, but I caught his leg. The victim says as he was beaten to the ground and robbed of his cell phone, he was able to get up and get away by jumping on the dark light rail with the help of a fellow passenger. The victim says a uniformed off-duty dart officer called for help. He says he was taken to the hospital and checked out and released with bumps and bruises. I want him caught and hopefully this is the turning point for him to where he can become a better person. DART has faced criticism in recent years over security incidents like this. Last spring, the agency beefed up its security on board the trains and announced it would have cameras on all of its light rail by 2020. The platforms themselves already have surveillance cameras, but the agency rarely releases video of suspects, even with alleged robberies and aggravated assaults. The case has left the victim looking for other ways to get around. So you, you're planning on continuing riding on DART? I hope so, but not for a while. I think what we really want is just him caught, and we want DART to really take a look at their security and not look at us as a bottom dollar, but as loyal customers who ride every day and deserve the security that they're advertising. Now, along with the video of yesterday's attack, we also asked uh, DART for an incident report. Those incident reports typically have a credible suspect description. Again, DART did confirm they are investigating this incident, but again, they said there's no video or any incident reports available at this time.